First Alert Weather with Brian Allworth is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. A very rainy Friday and again our First Alert Action Day continues for the rest of today into tonight for the threats of uh, flooding rain and possibly more severe weather. Right now it's just basically rain, although a little thunder and lightning, and this is coming back now from the southwest. We had a little lull there for a while, but uh, this is some heavy rain reappearing, moving in from the southwest, which makes sense because the low pressure area that we're watching is just now beginning to spin up over western Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma. So yeah, I don't see any big or intense thunderstorms right here, but mostly just thunder and lightning with uh, heavy rain showers. But again, there is that threat of severe later on. In fact, we'll see that on the future cast coming up. Current temps, yeah, it really cooled down this morning as that front pushed all the way south toward the boot heel in Tennessee. Even down here, it cooled down a little bit. We're in the 60s right now, uh, but 40s in our northern counties. The question now, the forecast question is, that really warm, humid air just south of us, how far north will it get this evening? Because if you're in the warm, humid air, that's where the tornado threat will be the highest. And we're afraid that that may happen in the Boot Heel, Tennessee, and maybe southwest Kentucky. You can see already the dew points much higher in our southern counties. And that low pressure area is just now spinning up out here. And as it gets stronger, it's going to pull warm, humid air from, say, Memphis and Tennessee and Arkansas back north into at least our southern counties. It's going to be a tricky forecast. Here's that front stalled right over the area. Here comes the low. So bottom line is, yes, we are still nervous about more very heavy rain throughout the area and maybe more severe weather in our southern counties. Check out this future cast. This is pretty interesting. So we get the stuff right now moves through and then we get a break for a little bit and then at 5 or 530 here comes this final round and this is the one that we're really going to have to watch depending on how far north that warm humid air gets. At uh, 8 o'clock, a line of very heavy cells from southern Illinois all the way through Kentucky into Tennessee. And by about 10 o'clock, it's gone. But that's the line that could give us another round of severe thunderstorms with damaging winds, hail, and possibly even some tornadic uh, or tornado spin-ups. Uh, and that seems to be most likely based on where the warm air is from the boot heel into Tennessee and maybe southwest Kentucky. So turning the page to tomorrow, it's going to be a breezy, cooler day, but no rain. Uh, still a lot of clouds around tomorrow morning and kind of a chilly northwest wind, but by evening it's clearing out and uh, by Sunday it's really, really nice. So here we go for the rest of today. Rain, maybe some thunderstorms redeveloping. Highs in the 50s north to near 70 in the south. For tonight, rain and thunderstorms, especially until about, what, 10 o'clock, according to that future cast, and then just breezy and cooler late tonight. Lows tomorrow morning in the 40s to low 50s. And tomorrow, not the most beautiful day. Looks like some clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, but it will be kind of breezy and cool tomorrow. Sunday, less wind, warmer temps, high about 68 for high. And really, it looks like next week is going to be pretty nice. Final week of March, no major weather systems, maybe a couple of minor rain chances Monday or Tuesday. We may have some more thunderstorms, though, to deal with about next Friday.